What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Hunter Iwaja, and today we got Aaron Williams. He's the number one ranked cornerback in California. Um, He's a four-star, 6'2". That's what I really like. Bro is 6'2". I don't know how fast he is. On this clip, he looked pretty fast, and you just seen his, his um acceleration right there after he did that spin move. He was able to pick up his speed real quick right there, so off real, I'm liking what I'm seeing. And it's like he playing modern day right here. Oh, this is good defense. That's good defense. So that mean that's me. He probably held CJ um Williams. And CJ Williams is elite. He one of my favorite receivers in the class of 2022. So if he was guarding CJ Williams, I need to see that. I definitely need to see that. Because that's that's probably the best test you can get. <sighs> get out of here. So we already know he's playing elite competition if he's playing modern day, which is probably the best school in the country. So Bro say he valid. Bro say he doing this on elite competition. He doing what he supposed to do. Off rip, what I'm telling is he he strictly coverage. He, he I'm not seeing too many interceptions, so maybe he didn't get that many interceptions. But that don't mean you're not a good cornerback. That means you just was doing your job, you know, like maybe you dropped some balls, but you was really just locking down if you able to get a, a hella offers be a top 150 players in the nation if you don't got no picks but maybe he got a lot of picks his sophomore year you know but i haven't seen no picks in this video so maybe he didn't catch a pick this year maybe he just put it later in the video i like that right there he lost his balance right there but he still was able to recover and um knock the ball out the receiver's hand so he, he didn't give up on the play man he got beat but he ended up recovering So it's a lot of action. A little patience on. Oh, we try to take it from him. Yes, sir. Somebody tried to do me like that in high school. They did succeed. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he did take it from me. I ain't even gonna cap. But if you need a cornerback, this is definitely the class to get one. It's a lot of good cornerbacks in this class, especially in Alabama. Alabama got three of the top four cornerbacks in this class. It's wild. And also, we we done a, a lot of cornerbacks in um in this class already. So y'all let me know who y'all think y'all favorite cornerback is. Um, you got Tony Mitchell, Kamani McClain, Jaleel Hurley, AJ Harris, Dalen Austin, this dude. I'm probably forgetting some more people, but that's already a lot I named already. So it's also a really good class for running backs. I don't think the running back class is as good as it was last year, because last year running back class is pretty crazy. The diversity of different players that they have in that class is is wild. But this class do got some hit top heavy running backs like Ruben Owens and Richard Young, Cedric Baxter and them. Justice Hayes. I mean, not Hayes, Haynes. I'm getting better with remembering a lot of people's name. Like, I watch so many players. I'm I'm surprised I'm remembering a whole lot of names, bro. Like, that's really surprised me that I'm able to remember so many names because I watch so many players over a few months span. I watched over 100 players. So, in like back to back days. So, that's crazy that I'm remembering most of their names. You know what I mean? Even though I have forgot some. But yeah, there you go with Aaron Williams. 6'2 is what really like drives me. A tall cornerback is always good. And if he fast, you, you don't get much better than that. Do we got his speed? Oh, Alabama just off of him on the 30th. So Alabama trying to get in there. Alabama, they, but Alabama, the thing is by Alabama, they already got like, they just got Jaleel Hurley who committed to him. They got a chance at Kamani McClain. Tony Mitchell is in Alabama. AJ Harris is in Alabama. So Alabama could have the best corners coming out of this class. So we're going to see how it ends. Hopefully, Texas and them get in on these dudes. Let me see if Texas and them off of this dude. Nope. Like Texas and them really fighting for the players on the East Coast and in the South. As it should be, though. It's going to be. As Texas a and them, they really not gonna pull players like that out of California. They may hit every now and then, but they not a school. I don't feel like we at that. I don't feel like we want enough to drag players like a lot of players out of California. You see what I'm saying? I get Florida is because it's still the South, you know. But California, 
why would they really look at Texas A&M unless it's a big school? You know what I mean? That's how I feel like it be. But that's going to be it for the video, and I'm going to catch y'all next time.